biceps, triceps, muscular buns. I don't need permits for these guns. Hey guys, we're the Lloyd Boys, and today I'm going to show you the darts that we have. Mamba Jamba, Mamba Fumba. All you need to set up the Mamba Jamba is some four steaks and some shotgun. Setting up any of these tarps is easy if you use the right gear. I like to use the Dutchware stuff because he's figured out a way to make it all super, super simple. So for example, instead of a ridge line, just get yourself some Dyneema. This is just some cord, really skinny little cord. And on each end of it, I have a Dutch hook, right? And the Dutch hook goes around the tree and you hang the tarp from this. So let me show you how to do it. It's the easiest thing you've ever seen. Check this out. So I'm just gonna take this cord, wrap it around the tree and tie it to itself. Hook it to itself like that. Really simple. And that's it. You just do that on both sides and you're done. Yeah, so this thing's super simple. We have it on both ends, and all you do, here, I'll get in close. Can you see that? Max, move your hand. Yeah, I can see it. So all you do is you take the stinger, you wrap the cord around it like this, and then go around the antennas like that. And then you just do the same thing on the other side. Just pull it through the hook, pull it tight, and go through the antennas. Now that this thing's hanged all up, let's take this thing out. Let's go. All right, so I have, for the Mamba Jamba, I have four stakes, and each stake has this shock cord. It's really simple. All we do is we hammer the stake into the ground, grab the corner of the Mamba Jamba, tighten it, and now it's secure. Hey dad, what is this? So I'm just gonna take my pole here. I'm gonna tie the handle off like that, stick it in the loop. Then I walk around, pull up the other end. I do the same thing on the other side. And that's it. Now let's go take a look inside and see how much headroom this thing has. I threw up the Blackbird hammock just to kind of illustrate um, why I use two tarp flies instead of a ridge line. Right now the Blackbird, the end of the Blackbird isn't covered by the tarp, so I need to shift the tarp this way. So let me show you how easy it is to do that. All you have to do is loosen this fly, slide it down to where you want it. Once you get it where you want it, you tighten it. Then you go to the other side, undo this end, tighten it, and just like that, I've got the tarp centered over the hammock exactly where I want it. 
The Mama Jamba is what I consider my lightweight tarp or my summer tarp. Um, it's the smallest tarp that I have. If uh, I'm going out and I know there's not going to be real bad weather and I don't need doors, that's when I'm taking the Mama Jamba. Really it's between the Mama Jamba and the Superfly for me. If the weather is going to be bad or windy or snowing or raining, I'm going Superfly for the doors. If the weather's nice, uh, I'm going to take the Mamba Jamba. It's lighter, it's uh, a lot easier to set up, and uh, it works great. So that's the biggest difference uh, for me between the Mamba Jamba and the Superfly. The system that Max and I use with the tarp flies, the, the tarp fleas, and... Uh, the shock cord, it's about as simple as you can get. So now let's take a look at the cloud burst. Let's tear this mama jumba down. Hey guys, I'm just relaxing in the red journer. Dad's gonna set up the cloud burst around me. So I have the cloud burst over me. Um, it's nice. Beautiful day today. Um, we're really getting the workout and putting this thing up. So we got the cloud burst all set up and we're just hanging out underneath it. This tarp is gigantic. How big is it, Addy? Um, seven, maybe 10 feet. Yeah, this thing is huge. And, um, but it sets up just like the Mamba Jamba, the same hardware, everything's simple. The only thing I do a little bit different with the Cloud Burst, and it's just a preference of mine, is I use a flea on each of the pullouts, and then I connect those to a um, hiking pole. Sometimes if I'm out in the wild, I can just use some branches from the tree to pull them out. Really, I'm just concerned about getting the head end pulled out a lot. Um, but yeah, you can do it any way you want and it works great. All right, so if you look up here, the Cloudburst has a little area where you can hang your... Um, stuff. You can hang your stuff. You can, you can use the pullouts for your bug net or for your spin drift. So I like to just connect a little S-beaner and then pull it tight like that. And you can see how it's connected there. And it pulls out the spin drift really nice. Oh my God. Max is going to show you the wrong way to get into the um, Ridge Runner when it's under a tarp. Go ahead and just pop in. So you can see when Max gets in, the spreader bars just plow into the tarp. So now let's show the right way to get in it. By doing it that way, you're a whole lot less likely to accidentally put the Ridge Runner spreader bars through your tarp. What are you doing in there? I'm just relaxing. I'm just relaxing trying to get this up. You want me to zip it up for you? Yeah. I'm going to shut you in. <laughs> hey guys, I'm just relaxing in the Ridge Runner. So, let's just take a nap. What are you doing in there? What is this? You can't hang a hammock here. This is a California state park. We don't allow that here. Get your butt out of here. You city slicker. I am the Knight of Zandar, and I haven't aged in a hundred thousand years. <laughs> What are, are you a, are you a... I'm the Knight of Xandar. <laughs> are you a Power Avenger? I'm the Knight of Xandar. Are you a Spider Hulk? I'm the Knight of Xandar. All right, so let's talk about this Superfly. The Superfly is the first tarp that I ever purchased when I first got into hammocks. I went big, I got the Big Daddy, and it's an awesome tarp. Um, I set it up different. Uh, than the Mamba Jamba or the um, Cloud Burst. Mainly, off of the stakes, I used a reflectic cord instead of the um, shock cord. 
and I have a Dutchware hookworm on each of the stakes that I used to tie into a small piece of uh, shock cord that's hooked to the D-rings. And then up at the top, um, I'm still using the Dutch hook, but then I've I use a stinger um, to, to clasp it down. I definitely, definitely like the, um, the tarp flies and the flea better, but uh, nothing wrong with this system either. It works. It's, uh, I've had this thing in really, really strong winds and rain and snow, and I've never had a problem with anything coming undone. So anyway, no matter how you try it, uh, it all works and it's all good. Well, I guess it's time to tear down this one too. So here we go, tearing down the Superfly in 30 seconds or less. So we just showed you all three tarps and we showed you the Mama Jama, which has the coolest name, the Cloud Burst, which is cool. It reaches up to the clouds and then we got the Superfly, Superfly, which we can fly on super. Yeah, so each one has a different um, use. Um, if I had to pick one tarp and I could only have one, it would definitely be the Superfly. Why? The Superfly is big enough to use a bridge hammock like the Ridge Runner. Um, it, it'll get wide enough so that you don't have to worry about the spreader bars hitting. Uh, it has the doors, which is great in the winter time. It's great when it's snowing and raining. Um, it's really the most versatile tarp that out of the three. But that's not to say that anything you buy from any of the other manufacturers won't be just as good. So, all right, guys. So thank you so much for watching our video. We hope that you found it uh, useful. And no matter what, just make sure that you get outside. No matter what kind of gear you have, get outside. Go camping. Get out in the woods and go have some fun. My name is Evan. My name is Max. We are the Lloyd Boys. And eat your vegetables and be good for your parents. Eat your vegetables. Metal. Metal. And watch the Power Rangers. Yeah. Dino. <laughs> watch the new one. It's called Dino Charge. And they made a new version of it. It's called Dino Supercharge. Watch Dino Charge first. All I gotta right. admit that. And if you guys like what you see, make sure to um, hit the hit the like button below. And light up that comment section. We always read the comments. That's right. Light up the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe. Yo, All right. We'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. It's more for time. And all the girls say I'm pretty fly for a white guy.